For many applications in daily life, many applications of mathematics, we try to find extreme values of functions. Well, we will define what are extreme values right now. So suppose we have a function f defined on some set i, it's a real valued function. Then we say that f has a global or absolute maximum in some value c. Yeah, a global or absolute, it means the same thing, global or absolute maximum uh, in some c in i. If it holds that, it is basically the maximum value of the function on this set i. So for any value x in the domain of the function, we have that fx is at most fc. Well, similarly, we define a global or absolute minimum in some c in the interval if it holds that fx is at least fc for all x in i. Yeah, so fc is the minimum value of the function on its domain i. Well, here's a picture to illustrate the definition. So here we have in blue the graph of some function f, and in red we have the an interval i. And uh, we clearly see that the lowest part on a graph is the yellow dot over here. So this is a global, indicates a global minimum. This is the location of the global minimum. And on the right hand side, it has a boundary value, the bound, on the bound of, boundary of the interval, we find a global maximum. We also have something that we will call later a local maximum. You see that it's a kind of peak, but it's not a global maximum or minimum.